Excellent. Hey, thanks for tuning into the Rexer Show today. CPS one core on the mister show you how to set this up and do a tiny bit of a demonstration the First thing you're gonna to need to do is go to Jose Tejada's patreon page You're gonna to have to pay the subscription fee to unlock the links for the files necessary to get CPS one core once you do that you're just gonna scroll down here until you find uh, this CPS one link here and it should look something like this CPS beta 8 paying files here Click on files here, it'll give you a little description. Click on files here again. It'll open up a window with five files here. Now I only needed the CPS1 Mr. Zip and the MRA Zip uh, to technically get this running. I'm not certain what the other three files are, uh, maybe variations of the MRA files and the RBF, but uh, I use these two and these two only, but you should download them all just to have them. Once we have those files and we've unzipped them, we're gonna SSH into our Mister, or you could pull out the SD card and do this all manually. I prefer to SSH into it. it just seems a lot easier for me. We're going to go to the media fat directory and there are different ways you can set up your folder structure. This is the way I like to do it. It's arcade folders and uh, we're going to put them in the arcade directory. So when we open up arcade, everything's in that directory. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the arcade folder and we're going to add the core. And again, the RBF for, uh, file will be found in the CPS1 Mister. Once we extract it, you can just drag it over. I'm going to replace it here. And after that, you're going to go back and you're going to create create a CP underscore CPS1 folder here. And in this folder is where you're going to put all your MRA files. Those MRAs will be found in the MRA.zip right here. MRA, MRA. Boom, here's your MRAs. You're just going to drag them over and you got all your MRA files. Now, after that, you're just going to need to add your MAME ROMs, and I'm using a .218 MAME ROM set. Uh, you want to use as close as you can get to the newest .217, .218, .219. They're up to .220 now. Um, just use those ROMs. They're most compatible with Mr. And I put a couple uh, in this set, 1941 uh, Street Fighter ROMs. But you can put in basically any uh rom that matches the mra file uh here so here's all your options right here right now with more on the way i'm sure uh lots of games here like final fight uh ghouls and ghosts uh, obviously the street fighters um, so you can get all those roms and dump them into your main folder here and then we can simply launch our mister and they should be playable okay so here we are on the mister we got everything in our arcade folder so i'm just gonna click on arcade and then right here was that CPS1 folder we, uh, I created. You kind of, like I said, you can do other kind of folder directories, but I put everything in the CPS1 folder. And then there's all your basically MRI, uh, MRI, MRA files, your cores. We're going to uh, pick, we got to go to Street Fighter here. We'll do Street Fighter uh, Champion Edition. Okay, so here we go. It's loading up. And if you want to go to your buttons and change them, you can go into the menu, define Street Fighter 2 CE buttons, right, left, down, up. And this B0 is basically um, light punch, medium punch, high punch, and then I believe light kick, medium kick, high kick, start, coin, pause, and then we don't need to set up alternative buttons, and we're good to go. Let's exit out. There's some credits and let's start. They can. Japan. Round one. Fight. I like the uh the I like I like joysticks in arcades, but for now, just for demonstration, pretty simple here. Uh runs excellent. Um gotta love the Mr. guys. Uh um, this feels great too, and you can you can mess with some uh, video settings if if you needed to um, in the menu. But other than that, um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching the Rexer Show.